Now, a new report from the RAC has suggested that diesel drivers could be getting ripped off at the pump. What a surprise. The organisations found that despite the cost of both petrol and diesel falling in February, savings aren't being fully passed on to consumers. Now, it calculated that drivers are paying around about £7 more per tank than would be if they were diesel, if diesel were being sold at a fairer rate. So I'm joined now by GV News' business and economics editor Liam Halligan with On The Money. So, Liam, talk to me about this. To me, it's no surprise. They never pass on the savings. Why would they? This will come as no surprise <laughs> to taxi drivers, van drivers, long-distance lorry drivers, anyone with a diesel car. Roughly speaking, uh, Nana, oil prices, the underlying pros across the pr crude oil, is about where it was before the war in Ukraine. And unleaded petrol is about roughly where it was before the war mm. in Ukraine, about 146, 147. But diesel is still up at 167. Oh, God. <laughs> even though diesel and petrol are meant to be roughly the mm. same level of price. Here's a statement from the RAC. They've said to us, they've said to GB News, here you go, despite there being just a 6p difference between the wholesale price of both petrol and diesel throughout all of February, diesel pump prices are currently a colossal 20p more than petrol. That's 146 versus about 167, as I said before. And then the RAC went on to say, if we can see... The new graphic, that means anyone filling a diesel car is, the RAC calculates, paying around £7 more per tank than they should be if diesel was being sold at a fairer price of around one fifty-five per litre. Now, we've often had on GB News here a guy called Howard Cox. Mm, He's actually definitely. partly funded by the, uh, the Freight Transport Association, but he does a very good job of keeping his eye on petrol and diesel prices compared to the price of oil. He's been lobbying the Chancellor of the Exchequer, no less, Jeremy Hunt, to set up some kind of organisation, Pump Watch, he wants it to be called, mm. or something like that, to make sure that the oil companies do pass on those price rises. Now, some people accuse the big petrol retailers that are linked to the oil companies of price gouging, if you like. They would deny that, deliberately not passing on the price reductions in oil. So when oil goes up, petrol prices go up like a rocket. But when oil prices go down, petrol prices come down like a feather. Now, some independent petrol retailers, they themselves are being squeezed by the petrol providers. So we're not saying that all petrol retailers by any means are doing the wrong thing. But the really interesting thing that's emerging now is this huge gap. Do you remember when diesel used to be cheaper than mm, unleaded petrol? Yeah, well, yeah. 20p more per litre. Mm. That is a huge margin. And nobody can really explain to me why it's happening. Mm, they, well, diesel is supposed to be the spawn of Satan now, isn't it? We don't want diesel, so they're punishing you now, even though they've made, we, made you buy the car. Yeah, a few <laughs> years ago we were told, I've got three diesel cars, because we were told, I'll buy diesel cars, because uh, it's the greener option, and we'll give you a bit of a tax break. But now, of course, it's very, very difficult. Fashion's changed. But I do think in the budget, which is coming down the track mm. now, and it's the 15th of March, uh, I do think Jeremy Hunt will have to respond to this, because mm. it's not just people like me talking about this on GB News. Many journalists are talking about it. Howard Cox is a very effective campaigner. And this is what really hits people in their pocket. You know, it was 100 quid to fill up a family saloon oh not God. so long ago. Now it's more like sort of 80, 85 quid. But it's still about 100 quid if the family saloon is diesel. Mm. And that's a major, major problem. Of course, diesel costs, it really is the fuel of commerce, lorries, mm. trains, all the rest of it transporting freight of all kinds, shipping. So those higher diesel costs, they are always, in the end, passed on to consumers. Mm -hmm. So this is a major source of inflation, unless we can get those diesel prices down at least to where petrol prices are as oil prices have come down. Mm, beware the Ides of March, the 15th of March. Jeremy Hunt's interesting budget. Thank you very much, Liam. Cheers, Nella. talk to you.